Hello and welcome to another video in the Ionic School. In this video we are going to learn another interesting thing with Ionic 2 applications and now Ionic 3 applications. In this video we are going to learn how we can implement push notifications in our Ionic 2 and 3 applications using one signal. So one signal is a service that you can use if you want to send push notifications to your users. One signal offers push notifications for a number of platforms including Android, iOS and web notifications. One signal also offers SDKs so that you can implement push notifications in your Ionic applications as well. And that is what we are going to do in this video. So the first thing that we'll have to do is create free account on one signal and then log into your account. I already have an account, so all I'm going to do is log into my account. I'm going to create a new app. I'm going to call this app as the Ionic School. Okay, I'm going to create this app and now it's telling me that I need to configure at least one platform and then only I will be able to send notifications to my users. So what I'll do, I'll just click on settings and here on Google Android, I want to click on configure so this shows up a Google server API key and a Google project number which we can get from Google Developers Console. So let's just go to Google Developers Console and see how we can get these keys. So open up console.developers.google.com and if you haven't already then create a new project and then click on enable API and then search for Google Cloud Messaging which is right here. Select that, click on enable API if you haven't already since I have already enabled this API, I'm getting the option to disable it. Once you have enabled the API, click on credentials, click create credentials and creating the credential will give you a server API key. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to come back and paste this server key in my Google Server API key field. I also need to bring in a Google project number so I can get the project number from project settings and this is the project number. I'll paste it in here and now I can save it. Okay, now you can see that the Google Android status is active. Next up, let's click on this link documentation and SDKs. Scroll down and click on Ionic SDK. Click on Ionic SDK setup guide and this will take you to a page where you will get all the information that you need to configure your Ionic application. So here I'm already creating a new Ionic 2 application using the blank template and while it finishes, what I can do is open up a console in Visual Studio Code and copy the commands from here to install the plugins that we need. So the first thing that I'll have to do is install one signal Cordova plugin. So I'll just copy this line, Ionic plugin add one signal Cordova plugin and I'll come back to my Visual Studio code and paste this line right here. Hit enter and this will install the one signal Cordova plugin into my Ionic 2 slash 3 application. It's done. Now let's get back to the browser again. So scroll down a little bit and now you have to add the code to your project files. So we are not using Ionic 1, we are using the version of Ionic 2 and onwards. So we will select TypeScript and here you can see that I get some code that I need to copy and paste into my Ionic application. So I'll just copy these three lines and I'll come back to my Visual Studio code, open up the source folder, open up the app folder and click on app.component.ts file. Okay, right here inside the platform.ready.then function, you have to paste this code. So I'll just paste it here. Okay, and this is the console log which we will not be able to see because Cordova plugins cannot be tested in the browser. So instead of logging it to the console, I'll alert this thing. Okay, so this is a function which will be executed every time the application receives a push notification. Okay, so every time we will receive a push notification, we will see an alert with the data that we have received in the push notification. Now we will have to configure the application ID here and the Google project number here. So let's just bring them in. I'll head over to one signal, click on all apps 
and on this page you can see the newly created app the ionic school is visible and it is showing that the setup is pending so i'll just click on finish app setup and select ionic click on next and you will get an id that you need to copy and paste into your ionic code so just copy this thing come back to the application and paste in the id as the first parameter to your start init function and the second parameter will be the project number that you will get from google so again open the project settings copy the project number paste the project number here and save your application okay now you can click on this button check subscribed users this will not detect any subscribed users because we have to run our application at least once to make the user subscribe so what i'll do i'll add a platform first ionic platform add android and i'll run this application in an android emulator for android you can test push notifications in the emulator but for ios you are not allowed to test push notifications in the ios simulator you need a real ios device for that so we are working on android here so we can test the push notifications on the emulator now that the platform has been added i'll just run the application right away on android and since no usb devices are connected to my computer right now the application will be run on an emulator Okay so our application is built successfully now an emulator is being launched and the application will be deployed in the emulator So the application has now launched and I am sure that it has subscribed to the one signal application that we have created so let's head back to one signal dashboard and click on check subscribed users again and you can see that a device or emulator with the name android sdk built for x86 has subscribed successfully click on done and now you are ready to send push notifications so click on this app click on new push notification and this is how you can send push notifications to your users click on next enter the title of your push notification i'm just going to enter the ionic school and the text will be join us in the ionic school on facebook okay click next you can set a lot of options from here i'm just going to leave everything for you to play with hit next again and confirm click on send message and open up your emulator and you can see that you get a push notification on your phone instantly you can test this out on a device as well i am running this on an emulator and this is all the json data that you have received as a result of push notification so if you want to send any additional information you can do that as well and then you can receive this information in the json data that you have received click okay and close the application for now and let's send another push notification with the application closed this time and you can see that i have got a push notification from the ionic school and the notification says join us in the ionic school on facebook you can tap on the notification and your application will open and the application will display the json data that you have received so if you want to perform some advanced functions if you want to carry out some logic in your application based on the data that you have sent in your push notification you can do that right here in your notification open callback you are getting all the data in json data and you can receive that data and based on that data you can execute any code that you want right here so this is how you can use push notifications in ionic 2 and 3 applications using one signal if you like this video please hit thumbs up if you have something to say to me or if you want me to make a video on something that you want make sure that you comment below See you in the next video.